have High Five at Holden Beach, North Carolina. And I have been able to meet Mike and we are together hanging out on the boat today. And this is definitely one of the uh, best spots we have brought the boat so far. It's, we're only here for one day, but what I really love about it is that the dock, which is the municipal dock right by the town hall, is right next to a park. So the kids are able to play, makes it so much easier for me just to get off the boat and hang out with the kids here. And uh, then of course there's some great restaurants in the area. We actually went to the one right across the, the uh, intracoastal waterway there. Um, the ICW in the background is the Provision Company. Really great, uh, great place to eat and of course Josh really loves this half sh sh half sunken shrimp boat over there. It's a bit of a tongue twister. Um, anyway, so yeah, just really enjoying being back here with everybody. You can see palm trees now, so we know that means it's starting to be uh, the kind of weather we uh, we love. And um, I just, you know, had a good time off the boat for a couple days, but really actually did miss it, and really did miss being with everybody. So I'm really glad to be back. And we don't really sit a lot of docks very often. But this one was a really good opportunity uh, for us to just be right here by the beach and to uh, hang out a little bit here. And it's just a really beautiful area. So we're going to continue to Myrtle Beach. That's our next step. And we're um, yeah, heading now to warmer weather to starting to really enjoy the area a little bit more. So Mike had actually been to Holden Beach before when he came up this way from Florida. And it was one of the places where I remembered seeing and thinking would be really fun to uh, go to. So that's why I'm excited to be here. Well, Captain, uh -huh. you ready to get going in Myrtle Beach? You got it. We're not going to uh, do very long today, just a three hour short jaunt to an anchorage and then hit Myrtle Beach tomorrow. Well, hopefully not hit it. Don't you need that? Yeah, I'm bringing it. All right, guys, time to get back on the boat. We are here at Osprey Marina, which is where the boat is uh, in Myrtle Beach. So we have our van for another week or so here. Mm -hmm. Right, Captain? Yeah, I'm, I'm Captain Window Down Hair today. <laughs> <laughs> and um, yeah, we're just picking up a package that came to the marina and just picking up some sheets because we need to do some washing. So it's nice to have the van because it means we can, although they do have some laundry facilities here, but it's nice to be able to take them all and take our time to wash it. So that's what we're doing here. Yeah. So here we are at Osprey Marina, which is where we have high five for a couple weeks in Myrtle Beach. And uh, Mike is going in to pick up a package that came and arrived today. Which is pretty exciting. Pretty. Well, Mike, what do you have there? Mystery boxes. What's in them? Toys. I bought toys. <laughs> I, uh, I, I really don't like sand, like toys and playing in sand because it gets everywhere. But then I thought the re way I would enjoy it more. Yes, is we're that... on a boat, living on a boat near beaches, and my husband is not that well, convinced that children. he wants to go they... to the beach all the time. So we're having this little bit sandy, of a disagreement about beach time. Anyway. We're sailing. There are beaches. I know. So I thought the way to do it would be to make myself actually enjoy myself on the beach. So I bought. So he bought his own sand things. toys. I bought my own sand toys. Should I open them? <laughs> sure. Can we Honestly. start a new unboxing channel? No, no, we're not gonna do that. Ah, groovy. So, huh? What is that? That is a sand sifting scoop thing. So, if you're looking for stuff in the sand, you can scoop and sift it out. Uh huh. See what you end up with. You complain when I buy something that's like the size of my shoe and you go and buy a sand toy that big? Yeah. It's way bigger than the bucket I wanted to buy for the kids, by the way. Yeah. And what exactly is in this one? Uh, it should be a metal detector. What? Yeah. Let's um, see it. You know, Amazon, cheap, whatever, but uh, yeah. You happened to be on the beach mm -hmm. in Holden Beach, actually, a couple weeks, it a was, couple days ago. It was in Holden Beach. I can't open this. It. It's, it's too well packaged. That's an unboxing defeat. Can you get a knife? 
it's in the van. Anyway, uh, yeah, I just, just talked to a guy that, that had one, and I've been thinking about getting one for a long time, just for fun and see what you find, I guess. But uh, it's also, you got to consider that when you've got nothing to do and you're standing around on the beach, you might as well do something useful. So a lot of these guys end up just picking up uh, lids from sardine cans and, you know, other horrible sharp objects. I'm more worried that you're going to get so distracted by your toy that you'll forget that you have four children by the ocean's edge. I'll just put them on a line. Attach yeah. them to my belt. Uh -huh. And then we'll make sure I don't lose any. Right, well, let's get your knife and get that open. Bingo. Well, let's Pretty see good. it. Thing. A metal detector. Yeah. So the next time I want to buy something that I think that you think is totally unnecessary for our boat life, I'm going to remind you that you bought in a metal way, detector. In what way is this unnecessary? Oh, you, you, ne oh yes, people... no sorry, the next time you complain about the bags of things that we bring to the beach for the actual time we spend on the beach. Many people will agree like with me blankets, that, that things get beach dropped, chairs. they get dropped you know, in shallow water, you could be hanging out on the beach and you could lose your sunglasses. Or... You've already lost your sunglasses three times and keep having to get new ones. Yes, well. <laughs> Is this yes. going to help us with that? <laughs> the no. point is, the next time that I'm going to buy something for our beach time, like a little beach cabana, I'm going to... I just bought you a beach cabana. <laughs> I know! Like After ago. like three months of saying, we need a beach cabana, we need a beach cabana. I'm just using that as an example. It's actually going to be effective for the family-oriented uh, beach activities. Is that right? Which hopefully this will be too. Uh-huh. So, so, shall we go to the beach and test it out? I think we probably should. I have to figure out how this stuff all works. Good. Figure that out and then we'll go to the beach and test it out. Ruby.